Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we are back at St Paul's um, here to finish off the things I wasn't able to do the other day, ran out of time. We are at the memorial stone of the great and very famous Admiral Nelson, Horatio Nelson. Victor of the Battle of Trafalgar and uh, killed on that day. He's got his battles up there, some of them Copenhagen, Nile, Trafalgar. only got one arm this doesn't mean that the statue has been broken for anyone that doesn't know by the time Lord Nelson died he only had one arm and one eye he lost those in previous battles but carried on and did a good job obviously England expects that every man should do his duty that's what was the message that Nelson had run up stones are up here in, um, in, the, in the cathedral and in the crypt below are where the last remains are. So you see Nelson there. I'll give you a quick pan round of the cathedral so you can see, sorry, so you can see his layout, the layout of it and uh, where Lord Nelson is. Looking down at the main entrance now, where the great font is. 360, very slow one. Because the quality isn't great on this phone, I'm afraid. The high altar. <coughs> Show you one of the other memorials from there. Another Another man died doing his duty. Right, and we'll show you Nelson just again for a minute. And now we'll go and uh, go down to the crypt. I'll pause you and restart, or I'll stop it, and then get, probably get Rob to join them to go for me. Right, Tilt fork, I've gone down the crypt. Oh, I can keep this one live, it doesn't matter. There we are. Looking down into the crypt. Nelson is in a pretty prominent place. So quite easy to find. I'll have to go back upstairs afterwards though and come do what I'm doing here for my uh, Christopher Wren piece. No. 
on Milton Nelson. Which we are heading his way now, wrong way. Sorry. Wrong way. <laughs> Here we are. It's Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson. I think he was a lord, I might, might be getting that wrong. And I was correct, what I said the other day, this tomb, or this, this structure, the black and the marble and whatnot, was meant for the Henry VIII, but he didn't get that. He was bunged away very quickly and forgotten about until the 1830s, when the grave was accidentally, or the, the tomb or vault was accidentally came and come across. And then um, King William, I think it was, ordered a black stone to be made, which is what marks the grave of Henry VIII now. But this, what you see, the black and that up there, that was to be the tomb of Henry VIII that he planned for himself and had constructed in his own lifetime. There were efforts to finish the tomb and do his grave properly and whatnot by his children, but nothing ever came of it. Get you to about 10 minutes on this one. These are pre-recorded, so all the details will obviously go on with the posts. We'll also be visiting Florence Nightingale, Duke of Wellington, Sir Christopher Wren. And I'll do a proper, which you'll probably already see by the time this goes on, a proper live of the crypt. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, i go once more around, show you a bit more of the detail up there. Nearly fell over then. <laughs> Very, very splendid memorial for a great man, obviously. Another little thing about Nelson, I shall say, um, when he was given an order or given a signal that he didn't want to see, that he thought might be a load of shit that wouldn't work, he would put his telescope to his blind eye and say, I saw nothing. And by doing that is how they won Trafalgar, really. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see, the um, tesserae pavement that surrounds a lot of the, uh, the memorials here is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'll end you at nine minutes, I think, for this one, because we've covered Lord Nelson. Take care, everyone. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like and share.